<laughs> Alright, this one's a little bit of a long time coming. Ahoy there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing well tonight. I am sitting down to play The Room 2. I want to say it was probably a little over a year ago now that I played The Room 1. But man, was that a good time. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to it if you'd like to see that game. But before you do, let me just tell you what this one's all about. The Room is a really neat really challenging puzzle game where everything revolves around puzzle boxes and little clockwork contraptions. It's very, very light on the story, though there is some, you know, subplots there and stuff, and really the game will just thrust you in as soon as I click new game, right into this maze of puzzles with very little explanations, and it's just up to me to figure it out for myself. Julian and I are going to be sitting down any day now to start our next Nancy Drew playthrough. We've already decided the game, and it's one of our all-time favorites, so I'm really excited for that. But, you know, in the meantime, I figure I might as well treat myself to a little side project, a little side hustle going on, and that's going to be the room two for now. If I had to guess, this game probably won't take me more than a week, week and a half, um, but hey, we'll see. Oh, and before I hit start going into this game completely blind, I would like to announce also that I will be abiding by the channel rule of the peppers. Any time that I use an online guide to get a spoiler or hint for any kind of puzzle in this game, that is a spicy pepper that I must then eat on camera. Let's hope we get through this one pepperless. Room 1 required a spoiler or two. It's, it's, no, it's no amateur hour. These are some hard puzzles. Uh, without further ado, I guess we'll just get right into it. Before my tea gets cold. Ooh. T okay, tutorial. We'll go through this real quick. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Yeah, this is this is all par for the course of room one. So basically, you uh, get to uh, r uh, just pivot around the environment, and you want to be looking for the slightest details that are of interest. You double-click to zoom in on things, and I can open this letter up. Let's give it a read. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room, and trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. And then A.S. This insignia looks a little familiar. That was probably something from the first game. I don't know, maybe it'll come back to me. Oh yeah, the eyepiece. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this is familiar. Okay, we have an eyepiece here with a broken lens. Um, click the back icon to exit to the inventory. Alright, so that's going to need to repair. Right click to zoom out. View the rest of the room. Oh, okay, this is kind of new. Wait, okay, no, it's, it's not WASD, but there are multiple places I can explore. Double click on the round box. Undo the latch. Push the button. All right, see, this is all, this is all, like, the little stuff. It's going to get much harder. A puzzle? Oh, my. Looks very challenging. Ooh. I don't know if I can do this one, guys. There we go. No peppers. Easy money. Open the drawer. And we got a lens. And then I can just combine them in my inventory, right? Oh, the game did it for me. Nice. Okay, so the eyepiece will let me see things that are otherwise not visible. Yeah. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Nice. Click on the fingerprint. Pick up the piece. Wow, we're speedrunning this tutorial. I don't even care. I just want to get into the real meat of this game. A small piece of shaped metal. I should try to find somewhere this piece can be used. Okay, let's get the eyeglass down. I don't think we need that anymore. I'm guessing the shaped metal goes here. No? Hey, there's an envelope here. Have we looked at this yet? 23rd of October, 1883. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of words there. I'll give them a quick read. Uh, Mr. Rigby, 1883, I just realized it said 1883, oh my god. Uh, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Word up to me, I should not engage with a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montfalcon is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. That is the most supervillain name I've ever heard. 
It falls to me then to bring a few in your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return of the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that, while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Wow. Thanks. That is such a vote of confidence. So I'm guessing that letter was addressed to us. Another small piece of metal. Oh, look at that. We're collecting them. All right. Maybe the gloves are coming off now. Hmm. Does it go here? Okay. Wait, can I inspect this further? There's nothing on the other side. Can't click on it. Okay. Um, how about these things? Here, let me go to the other table. What's up with this thing? Oh, it's a compass. I see that now. <laughs> All right, the gloves came off pretty quickly. This is this is this is the room now. We're playing puzzles. Woohoo! Oh, hold up. This is totally the spot where the things go. Nope. One here. One here. All right. What's that gonna do for me? I see. It's the golden snitch. A strange brass sphere. Looks like it belongs somewhere. Is that what that said? Let's try over here. No. Let's inspect the box closer up while we're at it. Okay, I'm going to guess the sphere goes right here. Oh shit, it's an eyeball. That's not scary or anything. Um. Whoa, hold up. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, Fireproof Games, you've really done something. Perhaps the code is hidden in the room somewhere. Oh, this is cool. It's going to be a five-letter word comprised of the letters for north, east, south, and west. But in order to select the letters, I have to hover over them. So I couldn't hypothetically go from east to west or from north to south. Oh, that's cool. All right, we're off to a good start with this one. I'm, I like where this is going. Okay. Okay. Perhaps the code is hidden somewhere in this room, they said. Pardon the thud, that was my obese orange tabby cat jumping down off my desk. We got some blueberry tea stocked in the house tonight, and I am happy. Oh, silly me. I forgot that I have the, uh, the monocle to be looking through. So, surely there is something of visual interest. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's all I needed to see. South, east, south, west, north. Okay. South, east, south, west, north. Gotcha. Now, what do we have here? Oh, a medallion. <laughs> I thought I was about to start pulling that apart. But nope, it's one piece. Looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Oh, does he mean do this? Um, yeah, he does. Okay. I wonder if anything matches the shape. Yeah, I know just the place. Uh, this box right over here. Boop. Ooh, shit's popping off. Okay, what do we got here? Am I supposed to look through this side? What is it, a magic eight ball? Whoa. It's a spotlight almost, but only I can see it. 
when I'm holding the thing. Well, wait, what's happening? Wait, this just got scary. This actually just got scary. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, hey, where am I? I kind of thought I was in like a, um, not horrible underground place. But now I get the feeling I'm in a horrible underground place. <laughs> Shit. Are there going to be consequences to me finding all these suspicious runes? Um. Okay. okay, that symbol is familiar from the first game. It's trippy. Oh, these puzzles are back. I love these ones. Oh, these are perspective puzzles. So this just looks like a bunch of abstract symbols and shit. But if I look at it from the correct angle, it should show me a more cohesive image. They're usually not that hard, but... See, do you see that? That, that flashing bit right there. Oh. Okay. I think I figured out how I'm supposed to do it. Okay. That was an easy one, but I still think it'll be cool. Well, the door just opened out of the wall. Chapter complete. Alright, that's chapter one. Uh, I think we will go for a... Or no, that was the tutorial. You have done well to emerge from the crypt. Okay, we were in a crypt. Shit. Uh, sound of both mind and spirit, though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. Alright. That is officially the end of the tutorial. Let's see if we can knock out one more chapter in this vid. Mm. Pirate ship, we're in a pirate ship. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, I, I dig it. I hella dig it. Nope. There is still no sign and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the foremast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense, I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest, let alone the Helena. Regardless, I have had the gun deck run out the cannons. In readiness, it is good enough to keep my men sharp. Um, and there's a splash of... No, that's probably ink, but my instincts want to tell me that's blood. Alright, uh, the foremast, the crow's nest, and the cannons are both... Or all three are capitalized, so I'm guessing that we want to do something with those in the uh, aforementioned order. Which one's the foremast? I'm guessing it's the back. How cool is that? We're actually on a boat. Um... Hang on, give me a second. I just gotta find these pesky hitboxes. Foremast, crow's nest, and cannons. Okay. Wait, this is a question mark? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. That was a clue. Those are the hints. I forgot that that's how you get hints in this game. I thought it was trying to tell me something important. Uh, that one didn't count. I will not be eating any peppers over that measly little clue. And I will not make that mistake again. Okay, crow's nest, it says. Maybe the uh, eyeglass will shed some more light on this? No? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure how this is supposed to be aligned. Oh, okay, apparently that did it. Uh, a small gold key. Nice. I dig it. Now, where might the small gold keyhole be? Ooh, look at this. Alright, bring the cannons up to... Up to the broadside. And there's my keyhole. I'm trying to remember. That's, um... 
That's starboard. Starboard is the right side of the ship. Port is the left. Ooh, she swings right open. Oh my god. This is bringing me back to all the, the pirate ship toys I had as my kid. I didn't even realize that was a key when I clicked on it. Strange shaped key. Okay. Uh, do we have any strange shaped keyholes, maybe? Oh, hold up. Is this a letter that I totally missed? It is. And it's got the uh, AS insignia again from Mystery Man who set us on this quest. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon in full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path or forging a new one? What sights you must have witnessed, if my own experience is any guide? I'll keep leaving notes and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthy tang of reality that is quite missing. I somewhat fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. A.S. Alright, that's cool. Um, what next? Is there anything I can look at that's not the pirate ship? That's probably a good question. Oh, we can look at the bow. Yes, I'm stupidly educated on the names of the parts of the ship. Okay, you know what? We didn't do anything with this angle. Up by the captain's wheel. What might be going on here? The ship's wheel is missing. Yeah, it is now that you mention it. I see. How about the, uh... Not the poop deck. What's it called? Doesn't matter. I can't even click on it anyways. Okay, real quick, let's back up all the way and make sure there's not anything else important in this room. Uh, we got cannons down here. Something little and green over there. What is that? Probably nothing. Lantern, stairs, barrels. Yep, looks like the uh, ship is my essential focus. What's this? Real quick. Strange shaped. Oh, this key is strangely shaped. I just realized that. It is not key shaped in the least. Kind of looks like a face. Alright. Are there any suspicious indentations hiding on this vessel? Oh, here's something I missed. I was supposed to drag that thing. Yar, let's go. Ahoy, arg, avast. We have a treasure chest now. And a book. It's been three weeks at sea, and the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors will not be happy with our return. I love that being a pirate was like a career back then. That shit was the best. Please bring back piracy. I would get a degree in that shit. According to the prisoners, we took off the San Esposito. We should find the Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. They were simple swabs, ignorant of all save the workings of the decks. But they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. Well, since he spelled artifact with an E, I know exactly that that's what I'm looking for. I gave them a place among my crew. Cool. So, there was some riffraff, is what it sounds like. I don't know what else to say. What do we have here? Okay, we're making a keyhole. We're making the keyhole that's supposed to resemble this. So, what? It's got like the H bottom. It's got like point, pointy cheeks. And then the top half is like a little, little house with a chimney. Okay, first thing I want to do is get that chimney house together. There we go. Those two are good, I think. Okay. That's not it, is it? 
That might be it. No, not quite. This is a hint. This has to be a hint right here, because that symbol's all over the place. Maybe... Oh, that's it. That's for sure it. Twist. All right. What's in me booty? Yar. More puzzles. Woohoo. Okay, we got some kind of spinning plate. <laughs> what, is, what is this thing? Oh, this totally is calling for the... Okay, yeah, I have to have my glasses out for this. Alright. That undid one of the latches. Uh, now, that the begs the question... What can be done for the other latch? Wait, what did that say? Oh, come on, what did it say? I think it said it can be moved, but it's stuck. Not very helpful. This game will teach you to think twice before you double click. Okay, what's the next thing? Beep. Doop doop. Two out of four. Okay, how about this one now? Are we still going to be fickle? I guess so. Wait, oh, here's something. It was in the lid. Okay. Oh, and that opened up a little switch here. I was wondering about that little hollow rectangle. Beep. All right, that's the last piece. And we just gotta get that in the right way. All right, it's a little light so far, but these games pick up in the second half. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Is this important? It is important! Aha! Let's get that out of the way. Mess around with this. And we got another small key! Let's go! Oh, wait. Look at that. Small key. Am I supposed to now... arrange the thing? In a way that is, uh... Helpful. The keyhole on the, on the front of the chest. Because it had that symbol again. Here, see? No, I can't move it regardless. But it, it's got like the triangle symbol. Is what I'm saying. Uh, let's return to the pirate ship for just a moment. Because there was some stuff on here that I hadn't figured out. I'm pretty sure that everything in this game has some level of importance to it. So if you can zoom in on it, then there is something to be done there. It's cool that you can still read the letter from this angle. Very pretty game. So pretty, in fact, that I'm curious if I can boost the graphics quality. Can I? Preset is very low. Are you serious? Nah, I just, I just set up my new PC. Let's get it on amazing. Keep that shit. Hopefully this has crashed the game immediately. Resume. Oh, it's glorious. I'm so sorry that I didn't play with this on before. <laughs> My stupid ass is so used to running the terrible graphics. Although it definitely has made things more blurry in the distance. Okay, you know what? Something's up with this middle mass here, isn't it? There's something on this mast. I need to figure out a way to unfurl it. It's like catching the light in, in that weird way. Perhaps the monocle will tell me the answer. Oh! <laughs> we found something. Oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not putting the... I am not putting it together. What does this mean? about this side? 
here's something. A strange cylinder. Hey, that's what I need. Pop that in the top. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. Okay, I probably have to do something to it first. Yeah, here we go. Open her up. Unnecessary horror movie sound effect. Drop it in place. Give it a spin. Alright, she's popping open. Give me the give me the, the the wheel now. That's what I want. Looks like the Moon Lake Mosaics. Another letter. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles and on the deep sea currents to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her, sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. Okay. So this is another riddle. Anything to see in dark sight? Okay, so I'm starting over here. And let me read this again. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents. So that means two this way. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. One, two, three. Oh, that didn't help. Hmm. This is weird. How do I want to do this? I click the button and I start sailing. But that's a dead end there. What if I go this way instead? Okay, how's where's that gonna take me? Oh, uh, I did it right, apparently. <laughs> uh, I was just kind of fucking around with that, but... Alright, I'll take the win. Uh, we got a keyhole here, and still a small key in our inventory. Here, let's read this first. Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west, and we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we could, we would easily overhaul her, if only this accursed fog should lift. Okay. Um, can I pop the ski in here? No, it's closed. Unless I were to do something about that. Wait, what? Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like a slider puzzle. Boop. There's my keyhole. Gotcha. Alright. We're through the cape now. So, four miles west, four miles north. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She cut west two miles into a fog bank. One, two. Alright. Let's set sail. Let's go. Can't be stopped. Last puzzle, I think. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles back towards the cape. Now she lies north of us just by one mile. She won't reach the cape again. North by one. All right. Uh, hardly. Wait. But I can't go north by one. What's that about? Hmm. Here's a question. Can I see anything on the underside of this? No. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> that kind of scared me. All right. So we're going north now, I take it. Um, oh, okay, so I am, 
I am the ship. So I'm just turning a little bit to go north. Oh, yeah, look at that. So that's how we figure out our heading. Straighten her out. Check the oars, man. Nope, nope, keep going. Keep going. All right. Is that going to open up the little thing on the side? What happened? Oh, okay, now we can just go one north. Beep. She lies north of us by just one mile. Is that not the way to go? Wait. No, no, this has changed now. Hasn't it? She was six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles. Back towards the Cape, then by one? It's getting weird. Hang on. First of all, this is glowing again. Can I look back at this? I guess it's just the same thing. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one. I think that's all I need. Is this my little wheel? Ooh. You're mighty scary, ain't you? Painted figurehead. Mmm! <laughs> Alright, I think that's the end of the uh, treasure chest arc. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and slap this lady where she belongs. Don't take that out of context. And that would be my captain's wheel. Anything else in here? Nope, I think that's all. Alright. Captain's wheel. Let's hit it. Twist that shit. The rudder? I didn't even notice this was a thing. All right, what does that do for me? The mast has opened up, and so has that little wheel there. Rose is the word on the mast. Let's wait for that to be important. Give that a twist. Something else opens up. And we now have a four-letter combination. And it's, of course, going to be Rosa. All right, we got a thing. A gem. Correction, this appears to be half a gem. Where is the other half? Why do I care? Who are you people? What are you doing in my house? Oh, hold up. Yeah, that stands out much easier now. Goes right there, snapping together. Now what do I get? What's the prize? What do I win? Another puzzle? Okay, hang on. There's a lot going on here. Let's start off with the letters. The Santa Helena came apart on rocks at 1800 hours. She heaved us as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors, but only one swam clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar. A wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered, blood-stained rags. Clutched in his white-knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may not have gone with Helena. With the Helena. I've had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. Okay. So we're, tr we're tracking the manifest of this mysterious artifact. Here we have another letter from A.S. It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elaborated arrangements, like the spirals of a vortex at once both the pattern and the system. It seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must turn the room to find the glyph, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? Am I the explorer or the prisoner? A yes. Okay. Uh, what's going on here, then? Nothing is readily apparent in the dark site. So I guess we'll start poking around without the wonk of vision. Ah, 
I clicked too fast. I just missed whatever that said. Something about there appears to be. That looks like something. Yeah, look at that. It lights up when I look at it from a far angle. Maybe it's nothing. What's this, a camera? An ink? Oh, wait. What a boring looking weight. Have some imagination, weight makers of 1886. Nautical measures. R. Shaw and Co. Falmouth. Was Falmouth the name of that, um, evil guy from earlier? With the evil name? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I could be mistaken. Alright. What do these shapes mean? Do I put the weight on one of them? It's a scale. That's interesting. <laughs> nope, don't get it yet. I don't know what's going on yet. Small disc. Hooray. Nothing here. These all look like they're going to open up, but haven't done so yet. Um, what if I put the small disc here on the board now? Okay, what if we look at the thing that just moved? Small... Oh, I'm stupid. It goes right down here, doesn't it? Yeah. Now what's that going to do for me? Pops right open, and we get another weight. All right, where might this one go? Counterweight. All right, next little origami dude sets out. Another thing opens. Does anything else happen? Ah, another small disc, but of course. Uh, hey, wait a second. This, like, doesn't fit at all. What's that about? Oh. Oh, wait, no, it does fit. I just gotta make it work. That pops up. We get a third weight. This one's taller and skinnier than the rest, it would seem. And it fits... Somewhere? No, for real, where does this one go? Nautical measures. Oh, yeah, it pops open. It just became a triangle. Now it goes in the triangle hole. Alright, where am I gonna find this one? Oh, something on the side here. Was this here before? Something seems to be stopping the door from opening. Okay. Okay. The last time I found it because... Oh, look at this. I think we found it. There are these little sim square things over here that I'm yet to do anything with. Must be a correct configuration for them. Somewhere there is a clue to this and I'm not getting it. Oh. Is this my hint? There's an upside down triangle on the cover of the next case. Okay. Do I want them all to be upside down triangles? There's clearly a shape poking out of the corner here. Why is that there? What is... What is with this thing? Why is there a piece pointing out of the end? That has to be important, but I can't figure out how. 
All right, so sue me. This could be a Pepper's Heavy playthrough. Let's try to get a couple hints and see what happens. There's a drawer on the... Wait, what? Wait. Is this... Is this just to open up the box? You're joking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Damn it, it makes so much sense now. All I would have needed to do was look back at that one more time and I would have figured it out. Oh, okay, I see. It moves the wood along. Because that's how wood works. Alright, we got the thing. Small disc. Big whoop. Now I have to eat a pepper. At the time of my choosing. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Uh, this one has to go in here because it's flat. And then another one's going to go on top of it. Wait, what? No, it's not. It doesn't work like that, does it? What is going on? This is harder than I thought it would be. Alright, there we go. Nice. Give me the weight. I'll open it up. Go dodecahedron mode. Don't forget this side. There you go. Kind of just like mentally decided that the drawer was going to open at the end of the challenge. So, uh... Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo for me. Okay. Woohoo. Last piece. Well, I really did not get anything out of that that I wanted. Except we still have the question of what's up with this thing. Why is there a little triangle here? You see? You see, I was noticing things that I was too far ahead of. There was nothing to be done with that. Wow. It's the perfect kind of difficulty. It's like, so simple that it just pisses you off that you can't figure it out. But that's what makes it beautiful. Pop her open. Got the last weight. Alright. Now what happens? First let's inspect this and uh, pop out the whatever. Wait, it's just a weird shape? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, there we go. Twist the knob. Oh, the knob came off. Very interesting. Does the knob go on now? Right here? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. There's a tiny spot for this weight to go. I just remembered that. Checkmate. An anchor and a something. And that box just opened up too. A metal clock spring. Is that what he calls it? Alright, uh, I'm guessing that box is going to be the end of the level, which means I probably have to find somewhere to affix these two things. Anchor. Down she goes. And there's the thing I needed. Metal star. Okay, maybe the clock spring isn't even for this. Knock, open up. Bing. A clock. Alright. 
I see you, clock, and raise you metal clock string. Thomas Bradbury. Do we gotta wind it up? <laughs> I just flipped it upside down. Popping it open. Breaking it down. It looks like a keyhole. Alright, but this is screwed in place. down here what's up with this thing oh here's something all right that moved down and it made a clicking noise is that a clicking noise that pertains to this thing? It is not. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh gosh, how does this work? It's some kind of perspective puzzle. But I can't tell how. Everything's still screwed in place. Here's a switch. Winding key. That's nice. Okay. Unlock it. I won't wind up. Something's missing from the compartment. Okay, the clock spring doesn't go down here. How do I move this stuff? Do I move this stuff? I feel like I do. But I don't know why or how. Oh, here's something. Another corner. This opens. Screwdriver. Let's go. Man, that one was in shadow. I'm surprised I found that. Take the flathead. Twist it away, lefty Lucy. Open it right up. Clock spring? Clock spring. Okay. Now take the thing and cover it back up. What? You didn't screw it tight. It's not going to work. It's going to fall apart. All right, now we do this thing. Two fifty. Okay. Very interesting. Do I have to make the time two fifty? Probably. That's two. That's fifty. Uh, what is this? Oh, simple. That's what it is. Inventory object found. A key. Uh, this one's just a regular key. Very regular, in fact. Shit. I, uh, don't remember where the last keyhole was that we found. Um. Was there one in the boat somewhere? All right, where's the keyhole? This is this just shouldn't even count as a hint. I just don't know where the keyhole is. <laughs> is it somewhere I've seen? 
Tell me. Somewhere on this box. Somewhere on this box is not very descript. Do I crank it again? Oh my god, where is it? <sighs> wow, that was well hidden. Alright, you can have that one. Well hidden lock. Alright. What's the thing? It's the ship. My cat is uh, having his nightly ruckus rest. <laughs> Rampage where he just runs around meowing very loudly. Okay. And this is a diamond shaped metal casting. Awesome. Now what am I gonna do with that? I think I'm gonna put it right here. Is that the thing? Is this the artifact? I think it is. Alright, I think that's chapter two. Oh, no, it's almost chapter two. I have to make the perspective shape again. Oh, I see. Some of those are red herrings. All right. Well, my brain hurts a little bit. <sighs> Feeling pretty good about that one. Um, so far, I've only needed like two hints because I was just having trouble with miss with hidden object level difficulty. It was never like a puzzle was going over my head. It was just that there was something small that I wasn't noticing. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good and I'll be happy to play some more soon.